everyone, I am the MXG player, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Crystal. Last time we made it here to Fuchsia City, about to take on our first Cantonian gym. Now, in the previous game, Koga was the gym leader here, but now he's an elite. But now that he's an elite four member, who's the gym leader? Well, let's check. Fuchsia City Pokemon gym leader Janine, the poisonous G ninja master. So. Yo, yo, champion making! Whoops! Take a good look around you. The trainers all look like the leader Janine. Which of them is the real Janine? I don't know. We'll have to make our way through this uh, invisible pathway. That's not really invisible because you can clearly see the pathway. I don't know if you guys can, but fooled you. <laughs> so. The gimmick here is not just invisible floors, quote unquote invisible, but to also find the real gym leader. You have a Bulbasaur? I should probably switch out, because that's not a good combination, unless I get lucky enough to land an Ice Punch, which will take it down in one hit. Oh yeah, it's definitely one hit. There's no doubt about it. There's no doubt about that. Okay. First Pokemon down. Ivysaur now, I should switch out. Um, Umbreon. You have a good team right here. So far, so good. But I'm going to have to take them all down. I'm sorry. Psychic. Done. And lastly, Venusaur. Let's go ahead and have Typhlosion handle this one. Alright. Fire Punch. Let's start off with this one. Really good. And I guess Typhlosion leveled up. Yep, level 55. Oh, I lost. You're not weak. Thanks, I guess? I'm Janine! How did you know I was real? Let's battle! Yeah, that's not her. <laughs> you can just tell by the sprite. You have one Pokemon. A Needle Queen, you are done, because I have a Quagsire. You're faster than Quagsire, though. Okay, that's a problem. So what now, Janine? Darn it, I wanted to win! What do you have to say for yourself? You must be getting tired. <laughs> You're just a second trainer! <laughs> you betcha I'm Janine! Barry, <laughs> as if you would ever be Janine. You got a Needle King, though. Pretty intense looking, but we're gonna take you down after you horn us. Good. Almost a level up. My disguise was right on! Ding! That seems a bit far-fetched. <laughs> I'm Janine, the gym leader. No, I'm not. Gotcha, sucker. And everyone's just being all like, I'm Janine, I'm Janine. If you want my honest opinion, 
the one who looked like her the closest was the only male here. I'm gonna say that right now. For the record. And a level up for Quagsire, level 49. Okay. Another Gloom! Go Umbreon! This is gonna be a real short episode. <laughs> I just looked at the timer, we're like past five minutes, five and a half minutes. Done? And Arbok. You don't scare us. We scare you. And done. I had you fooled. Not really. So, process of elimination says... <laughs> I'm sorry to disappoint you. I'm only joking. I'm the real deal. Janine of Future Gym. That's me. And here she is. She has five Pokemon. She starts off with a Crobat. Level 36. And he even plays a new version of the Kanto Gym Battle theme. Really? Damn. Almost. That was close. Bang! You are gone! Up next is... Ariados. <laughs> Typhlosion, you want to burn this spider? Fire punch. Now, the gym leaders, you can actually face them in any order. Uh... You can face them in the order of how they're ordered. I'm sorry if I'm being redundant right here. Uh, face them in the same order as in the previous game. Or just any one you want. Except for the last gym. That one is always going to be last. And, uh... I decided to do this order because... Um... Uh, the order I'm going in is by level. So, in this case, Janine is actually the weakest of the gym leaders. And since her strongest Pokemon is, I believe, level 39, she has another Weezing. So we're just gonna keep using Psychic on you. Awesome! And her last Pokemon, Venomoth, her strongest Pokemon, quote unquote. Typhlosion, let's set this bug ablaze. Level 39. Flamethrower. Like, that's some deal. We just demolished her team. And we're done. You're a tough one. You definitely won. Here's the soul badge. Take it. Receive the soul badge. You're so tough. I have a special gift. It's toxic. A powerful poison that steadily saps the victim's HP. TMO6... Toxic. This is a good move. 
But I want to teach the victory bell. Not now, because we still need cut. I'm going to really apply myself and improve my skills. I want to become better than both Father and you. So, as you just found out, she is actually Koga's daughter. And that's it for this gym. That was a great battle, trainer from Johto. Indeed it was. Indeed it was. So next up, uh, let's switch you out in front and give you uh, the amulet coin. Give him a coin. Here we go. Now let's fly back to Vermilion. And if you remember from where Snorlax was, he was blocking not only the path to Route 11. But also this cave over here. Diglett's cave. We're gonna go ahead and go through it. Bunch of Diglett popped out of the ground. That was shocking. Well, this place is called Diglett's cave for a reason. Alright, time to throw up a Max Repel. Well, let's just bike our way. There might be some items here, so excuse me for pausing every so often. A Max Revive! Okay! That is... That is most appreciated. Okay. Arrive on the other side to Route 2. And the music that's playing is actually the Viridian Forest music. And you can't actually traverse Virgating Forests. Because if you can look on the other side, it's a bit of. It's just a maze. Down here, Elixir does nice. Nice, 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 nice. Oh. Up here, cut down this tree again. We're getting a lot of use out of cut. Another item up here. Carbos! That will raise a Pokemon speed. Uh, who's gonna want that? I don't think Pikachu can take it because his speed is already pretty freaking phenomenal. Okay, we'll give it to Umbreon then. And, uh, yeah. We cut open this path up here. Now, this route is where we would normally find a Pikachu. And here we are in Pewter City. So if we explore around a little bit. Oh, you came all the way out here from Johto? That brings back memories. When I was young, I went to Johto to train. You remind me so much of what I was like as a young man. Here, I want you to have this item I found in Johto. The Silver Wing! And that's it. Going to new, unknown places and seeing new people. Those are the joys of travel. The Silver Wing is needed to catch a certain Pokémon. And we're gonna be doing that later. But for now, that's gonna be it for this episode of Let's Play Pokémon Crystal. I've been the MHC player, tell me what you guys thought, and I'll see you guys next time for when we take on the next gym. Pewter City Pokemon Gym. Leader Brock, the rock solid Pokemon trainer.